So this video is not me, you know, complaining or it's not me asking for help, you know, just kind of alerting folks out there what's going on from a local perspective. Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Selena and I just wanted to give an update on Hurricane Helene. I just got home from work. As you can see, I'm in scrubs. I'm not a nurse. Uh, I am in the healthcare field. <laughs> Something really gross is going on. We have no plumbing, no running water, no electricity in general where I'm at, right? And we are north of Florida. Basically, it was expected for us to come into work today, Monday. Friday was kind of iffy. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to have emergency paid time off for that. I have to use annual leave or PTO if I take any time off this week and it's kind of up in the air if we'll be getting emergency leave for Friday or if I took off today as in Monday. We are expected to work this week as far as all kinds of occupations and fields. My husband's in the agriculture industry. He's at work. He went to work on Saturday. There was really nothing to do without electricity. Today was disgusting because we had no running water and people were defecating in the toilets like on top of each other. But when you think about the healthcare workers and people working with food, they cannot wash their hands. That's a safety violation. So it's just getting very backed up. Uh, I'm definitely grateful that I can wash my hands at home and I, that I have a home and that I'm alive and my family's okay, my friends are okay, my coworkers are okay. But it's just something to think about with everything going on. Even healthcare facilities are out of soap and don't have running water. We did have electricity, so thankfully employees and patients were able to charge their devices I tried to call a few patients today who were on my schedule and a few patients in general, just letting them know what's going on or what to do during this time. Unable to reach, of course, understandably so. I know a lot of folks have cell service that are that's in and out of service and people are losing battery. Not everyone has, you know, access to another home to charge their phones or a portable power bank. It's, it's a lot going on. Thankfully in this time, it seems like a lot of folks are coming together and you know, in the community asking each other, do you need anything? Uh, I ring doorbell and a lot of people are telling us, you know, hey, this place has free hot food or the YMCA is offering showers if you bring your own hygiene products. This is a heads up, you know, be very mindful and be safe out there. If you need to go to the hospital, it's kind of slim pickings as far as dinner. Last I heard about dinner, it's gonna be cereal and a muffin. Uh, as far as lots of sandwiches being made, I think that's what they're gonna have to do, but it's hard. With that said, if you're able to flee up north or you're up north and you're able to help someone in the south or southeast, please offer up your home. I'm gonna, again, include some resources in the comment section down below and in the description box down below. I have a couple of other videos about the impact of Hurricane Helene as a local and feel free to check those out too. But today is September 30th, it's a Monday and that's pretty much the update there. I did get gas today, which was great. Costco, shout out to Costco. Y'all had the fastest gas station line. I tried two other gas stations. One was near my work and it got gas as of last night. But this morning, apparently everybody got it. So thankfully Costco was smooth sailing. As far as trash goes, I did hear from Ring Doorbell that uh, the trash services are um, coming as usual. So, you know, things are looking positive. I did see a lot of tree companies and construction on the way to work and leaving work. I know a lot of people are working overtime. So this video is not me, you know, complaining or it's not me asking for help, you know, just kind of alerting folks out there what's going on from a local perspective. 
I really hope that everyone's being safe. I'm, I thankfully have some resources to where I'm able to have a fire in my house. I can cook meals. Um, I don't know what I'm going to cook though, <laughs> but you know, I, I'm better off and I'm very privileged and grateful. And I have been helping as much as I can. You know, we've been giving meals out to our neighbors and passing around bottled water. That's all I have. That's the update as of today, Monday. I think going back to work tomorrow, y'all. I'm gonna bring my own hand sanitizer. I mean, I'm not touching anyone. I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Thank you for tuning in today. If you're able to help someone, please do. Keep everyone in your thoughts and in your prayers if you pray. But I appreciate you being here. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, spread the word about what's going on with Hurricane Helene. And I hope y'all have a good rest of your week. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.